Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Okay, determine the following angles again to the nearest degree. Now, to keep in mind here, again, anytime we're asked to find the angle, we are using the inverse of sine, cosine, or tangent, whichever one it is. Now, here we have a ratio. So if we're looking at the sine, we know that this value is the opposite. This value represents the hypotenuse. Here in terms of the cosine, we know here is the adjacent to whatever angle it is, and here is our hypotenuse. And lastly, if we have this here, we know this is our opposite, and this represents the adjacent. If we were to try to uh, draw out our triangle. But what we have here is we have our ratio in a fraction form. So what you can do is divide this out to give yourself an actual decimal value. And what you're trying to find is not much different than what we did in the previous where we had the actual ratio here in terms of a uh, decimal value here. Okay, But now we have it oops, rewound back too much. Okay, here we have it though in a fraction form. Okay, so what we have here is when we do divide 7 by 12, we get 0 0.5833, and we find the inverse of sine to find angle A. Because notice here, look at what the unknown is it's the angle in each one. Okay, so, sine, so angle A is equal to 36 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide here 4 divided by 15, and it will give us here 0 0.2666. So now we're going to take this value because this now represents our ratio, and our angle B now is equal to the inverse of cosine by 0 0.2666. And we're going to get an angle of 75 degrees. And the last example here, again, we're going to divide 15 by 8. And the answer we get is 1.875. So that will be our ratio. So our angle C is equal to the inverse of tan times 1.875, which will give us an angle of angle C being 62 degrees. So remember, anytime you're trying to find the angle, we are looking at the inverse function of sine, cosine, or tangent. Let's look at an actual example here. Determine side A. We're trying to find side A. Now, we are given one angle. In fact, we can actually find several angles. Well, we know this is 30 degrees. We know that this is the hypotenuse, opposite to whatever the 90 degrees is our hypotenuse. So in terms of our triangle, A is opposite to our angle that we're given, 30 degrees. So. We have hypotenuse, we have the opposite, which means this side over here is our adjacent. But because we don't know anything here, we don't care about this side. We care about this side because this is what we don't know. And this is what we're trying to find. We are given this bit of information and we're given this bit of information. So we need to use our information. We, we, we can only find for one unknown value. So what we're going to use, which side, we, which angle, so we, um, sorry, which ratio are we going to use? Well, we have opposite, we have hypotenuse, and if we think about Sokotoa, which one will include opposite and hypotenuse? And that is the sine ratio. The sine ratio is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And in the place of the opposite, we put A because that's what we don't know. In the place of the hypotenuse, we put the value of 6. In the place of A, we actually know what angle A is. So we're going to substitute, instead of A, we're going to write in the number 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is equal to 
a over 6. So what we want to do is we want to try to isolate for a. And because 6 here is in the denominator, one thing we can do is we can multiply this whole fraction here by 6. 6 divides by 6 to leave me with just 1. So 1 times a is going to leave me with just a on this side. But remember, whatever I do to this side of the equation, I must do to this side of the equation. And we get the follows. a is equal to 6 multiplied by sine 30. Why? Because over here, we multiplied by 6 to get rid of our denominator here, because we wanted to isolate for our unknown. So we isolate for our unknown by dividing here this by whatever value here, or by multiplying by whatever value, will divide out my denominator to give me a value of 1. But remember, what I do in math, on one side of the equal sign, I must do to the other. So the function was I multiplied by 6 this side, which means I'm going to multiply by 6 this side. Okay, And our value for a is equal to 6 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is... This is really our sine 30 is equivalent to 0 0.5. Our value of A is equal to 3 centimeters.